Hi guys, I am here with my labor and delivery story, and it's kind of bittersweet. Um, I'll explain that later, but well, I'll explain it during the story, but it is kind of bittersweet. But she is here. She was born April the 11th at 1:45 in the morning. She weighed six pounds nine ounces, twenty inches long, and a joy to be around. Right now she's sleeping, so I will show you guys what she's sleeping. Okay, so let's start. I went to my midwife appointment on the tenth at three o'clock, and okay, I'll rewind back some more. One at one o'clock that day, I um I met with my doula, and it was the first time meeting for somebody who was due on the 22nd, which is kind of late, but oh well, better late than never, I guess. So I met with her at 1, and we talked until about 2.30ish, and she's perfect. She was the perfect midwife, I mean the perfect doula, so we I went ahead and met with her. And, um, so at 3, she went with me to my apartment appointment and everything was fine Alana's heart rate was about in the 140-ish um, so they didn't check me most midwives just leave you alone to do whatever so um, later yeah. later that evening actually on my way back home mm -hmm. I was having breasting hicks so I was like that, whatever, of course. And, um, so I just did my, what I was going to do, which is clean up the house. And, um, I made me something to eat. And so they kept coming. So I called Tim and I let him know, like, my contractions were, um, they were back and I couldn't shake them is what I told him. Like I can't shake these contractions, so I guess I'll start timing them. Um, right now, well, at this time, Tim was actually in Lubbock, which is about four hours, about five hours away from here. He had to go to Lubbock because his grandfather had passed that Saturday, so they went to the funeral during the week. So they left that Monday, so he wasn't here. So I called and let him know that my um my contractions was like they were coming, but I was like, whatever. It happened before, so it wasn't a big deal. And then I think at six o'clock I started timing my contractions. They were about five minutes apart. No longer than thirty five seconds at the most so I was like okay whatever and then I, um, my sister came over I cut her hair for her what are you doing your belt sorry Rico is back in the room with me oh okay so I, I called no she called and she came over and I cut her hair now while I'm cutting her hair of course I'm still having contractions but you know I'm like whatever they'll end up going away and so I was like, well, maybe when I'm done, you know, I told her, when I'm done with their hair, I'm going to go sit in the tub and see what happens. So, I did that, and she left. So, she left, and I, um, I sat in the tub for about 30 minutes or so, and they slowed down. So, since they slowed down, I was like, whatever, but I text my mom, and I let her know that, okay, my contractions are like every five to six minutes apart less than 30 seconds and I'm just at the house I just got the tub so I'm laying down she's like okay keep me updated <laughs> she's like okay keep me updated and um, just let me know what happened so and so I'm trying to don't do that don't do that I know, but do not do that. Okay. Um. I don't know where I was at. Oh, so she was like, okay, keep me updated. And I was like, okay, I will. And by this time, it's like... Okay, we go. 
maybe nine o'clock, nine thirty ish. Um Okay. Yeah, I think it was about that time. And so she was like, Where's your sister at? Um I was like, She's gone. She uh had to, she went home to get some rest or whatever. So I'm at, I'm at the house by myself trying to trying to time my contractions and and see like, okay, whatever. I'm like, these will go away, so I'm laying down. When I lay down, it slowed down again. So I was like, this is nothing. So my mama kept texting me. And then my sister was texting me. Yes. No, get up. Stop that. Where's your toys? Okay. Go get them. Because she's not going to leave me alone. And I already scatterbrained. No running. No running. Okay. So, she's like, okay, so just text P and see if she'll let you know, my sister's name be. And she's like, so text her and let her know what's going on. I was like, okay. I couldn't even text her. My mama texted her all, all fast, whatever. And she called me. She's like, what's wrong? I was like, nothing. Still having contractions. <laughs> and so I'm on the phone with her and my mom is texting me like she's sending like three texts at once and I'm like I can only answer one text at a time I can't do this and have contractions talking all at the same time it's too much and so uh, she was like are you sure you don't want to come over just in case something happens I was like no I'm fine Um, I'll let you guys know what, what whatever happens whatever happens and so she tells my sister maybe you should go over her house and see how she's doing I was like okay and so she kept texting me eventually I gave in and I told her okay I'm coming so my sister came and picked me up and we got everything out the car and we went to my mama's house and then this time it's about 10 o'clock so I'm at my mama's house I go upstairs to the room that I was in, and then everybody else is like in the house to sleep, so I'm trying to be like quiet and whatever. So I call my midwife. Hooray. No, I called my midwife earlier that day. I called her at seven thirty, and I was like, I just want to let you know that I'm having contractions. They're about every five six minutes apart, lasting about thirty seconds. And she was like, okay, get some rest. So that's what I was trying to do, get some rest. And then, so I'm at my mom's house. You know, I'm calling to him and let him know, like, okay, I'm still having contractions. And they're still kind of, they're, they're getting intense, but they're not anything I can't handle. So, so I'm calling to him and I'm letting him know, like, okay, I'm still having contractions. And I was letting him know how far apart they were. And then I'm trying to focus on other things, like, not, the whole time I'm not thinking I'm in labor, I'm like, okay, whatever, they're just getting worse. So, I'm on and off the phone with him because he's like, has family in the background and he's trying to do like, both. He's like, trying to comfort me over the phone and entertain his family at the same time, so I'm like, whatever, I'll call you back. And, um... So, by this time, I'm like back and forth to the bathroom because like I, it feels like I have to go to, feel like I have to go pee, but I didn't have to pee, so I just sat on the toilet, which sounds really weird. I sat on the toilet like I was leaning like this over the toilet, which felt good to me because it took so much pressure off which sounds really weird and really gross to lean over the toilet but hey I was comfortable at that time and so about 11.45 it starts to get really 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 intense and I'm like oh my god I can't shake these and um and so I'm texting my doula and I call her and I let her know, okay, uh, they're intense. They're, yeah, they're like two and three minutes apart now. And so she's like, okay, well, let me know what you want me to do. I told her, just meet me at the birth center. 
and I call my midwife. And I let her know, okay, they're like two or three minutes apart, but they weren't less than a minute. They were like 35, 40 seconds, as if that. They weren't long, but they were intense, but they weren't long. Um, so, so I call my midwife, and she's like, well, do you think you should come in? I was like, I don't know. Maybe so, kind of. I don't I don't know. Y'all, last, my last labor was like, I was doped up, drugged up, and whatever happened, happened. So now I'm like experiencing labor this whole different way, so I didn't know what to do, what not to do. I was confused. I was lost. I was by myself. Cause my whole family was asleep, so I, I was like, oh my god. So she's like, just come in anyway. So about this time, it's like 12, 1230, because it takes, it takes like 30 minutes to get ready. So she's like, so I'll see you at 1. Well, it took me forever to get down the stairs. So I didn't make it down the stairs to about 1245-ish, if that. Yeah, about 12.45-ish. And, um, I knocked on my mama's door. And I try not to be too loud because she had just had a Benadryl. She had Benadryl earlier that day, so she was already drowsy. So, I knocked on her door. I told her, okay, my midwife said, let's go. So, we go. We get ready to go. And pretty much we haul tail all the way down the highway. And which was not a comfortable ride. I'm the say The ride to the person was not a pleasant ride. Little bitty bumps hurt. And I was like, oh my god, just get me there. But I didn't say I loud sing this in my head, so I was just listening to the music, trying to zone out, and when I had a contraction, I had like three contractions in a car. Maybe three or four. Yeah, maybe three or four contractions in a car, and I was like, okay. Hmm, okay. And then we finally make it to the birth center and I get there and I have a contraction. So I walk in real quietly. She's like, Oh, you walked in here quiet, so I'm having a contraction. And so she applies pressure to my back, which felt really good. And so I walk into the the, the room that I had Alana in and so I hunch over the bed. I have another contraction. And she's like, so you want me to check you? I was like, not really. No. I don't want you to check me. She's like, but I have to check you. So I was like, okay. After this contraction, we'll check you. So I laid on the bed and she checked me. Uh, You guys, I was nine centimeters already. From, okay, she said my active labor was started at probably like 11 something. And from 11 to about Make it, you made it there about 120 ish, something around there. And from then, that to then, I was nine centimeters. So that was quick for me. And I was like, oh my God. She's like, you might not even make it to the water. And so, you got both your cars? Okay. So she turns on the water immediately. And, um, she was like, you might not even make it to the water because your bag is bulging and her head is right there. I was like, oh my god. I was like, so I had, I'm trying to think, you guys. I had one contraction and then I felt the need to push. She's like, if you feel the need to push, go ahead and push. And at this whole time, I was water still running just in case I make it. And so, with the next, after that one contraction I had, she's like, I felt they need to push. So, I had another contraction. So, I pushed with that contraction and my water broke. She's like, you just might have the baby on the bed. And you guys, I was on all fours, which was really weird position to have a baby on or a baby in. And so, she's like, okay, so after this contraction, we can put you in the water. So, she checked the water. They put me in the water. And I was like, yes. That felt so good. It looked like I was about to go underwater, honestly. And then I had a contraction, and she started. I I reached, I reached down there, started to see my, but I re- reached down there, and I felt her head when I when I was pushing. And so she was already starting to crown. So I I was in the water like really maybe 
two or three minutes at that. And so I felt her crown and then And then I was like, okay. And the whole time this is happening, my mom is on the phone with Tim trying to keep him updated on what's going on. And um, and so he wasn't lost. So he was on the phone the whole time, even though he wasn't there. But, um, you know, it was, it was interesting to kind of see how that worked out over when I watched my video. That goes on your racetrack. Okay, when I watch the video later for her go back, her, her going back and forth from the um camcorder to the phone. So, anyways, back to labor. So, I had another contraction, and I promise you guys, I pushed, and her head and shoulders was out. Next thing I knew, she was right here on my chest. Hold on, stop, Rico, before you mess that up. And so, she was on my chest, which was really quick, because, you guys, I was at the birth center for 25 minutes, and she was here. So, at 1.45, she was here, and then later on my chest, then, you know, we didn't cut the cord until it stopped pulsating. So, I did get the water birth I wanted by this much, but it's still water birth, so I'm good. Um, and then after that, um, my mama told Tim that, that the baby that she was here and um then we trans we my mama got the chance to cut her cord and she was kinda grossed out by that. She was like, I don't wanna do that but oh, she did it anyway. And and then we went on the bed and they did all her measurements and I can't remember her actually I do. Her head was thirteen her head was 13 inches. Her chest was 14 inches. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's right. Um, uh, she was good. She was perfect. She did not cry at all. We tried to make her cry when she came out, and she did not want to cry. There. There's Rico. Rico is just trying to show y'all something. Him spinning his block. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. And so she was here after that, and I did say you're welcome. I can't ever do a video with him. I just I tried to do it when he was sleeping. It didn't work out. Um. But yeah. So she is perfect. She didn't cry. We tried to make her cry, and she was just looking at us like, really? You don't try to make me cry. But she was, she still doesn't cry to now. Um, so I delivered my placenta on the bed. After that, I didn't have much bleeding, so they were surprised about that. So it was pretty much an easy, quick labor. Only thing is, it was just sad because Tim wasn't there. It's, it's, it's sad because he wanted to be there. This is something we wanted to do together, but nature has its way of having its own way of planning things so he had to go to, to his granddad's funeral all the while his daughter was being born at the same time so it's, you can't wait for losing in that situation so um that's pretty much it basic quick labor story if you guys have any questions let me know go check out the facebook page you don't have a Facebook page. Rico said go check out the Facebook page, but he doesn't have one. And so, um, let me see if I can get Baby Girl while she's sleeping. Oh, you guys, she's in her cloth diapers now. Hold on. Hold on. Mm. Here she is. There's Alana. Is she sleeping? Oh, there's a yarn. Say hi, everybody. Say hi. Hi. Rico, Rico saying hey, too. Oh, 
Okay, that's your clock diaper. I'll let you guys know how this is going. Rico, Hi. stop. Okay? Thank you. Hi. I'll let you guys know how that's going. Call diaper and a newborn. We did call diaper from the beginning, but I mean, we started when she was like four. Yeah, yesterday, four days old. So I'll let you guys know how that's going. But until then, bye bye. Bye.